Hey guys, just in case you did not know, I uploaded a massive scream video. It is my longest video yet, and I am super proud of it. So if you haven't checked that out, it would really mean a lot to me if you did, but let's hop into this video. So we're doing something fun today. Um, I'm gonna be in Utah for, like I've been in Utah when you're watching this for like a week and a half. I am leaving in the morning and I figured, hey, I've wanted to do another one of those, like I watch the movie and kind of react in real time and kind of talk through it at the same time type videos like what I did with Human Centipede and Hostel, but with a Kevin Smith classique, uh, not Clerks, Tusk, which was Kevin Smith's first foray into horror comedy. Every, I've tried to say that 10 times and I keep saying horror for, for, for way four-way foray, which is part of a planned True North trilogy, including Yoga Hosers with the third installment, uh, Moose Jaws, which is literally Jaws with Moose. But Tusk is, you know, like maybe not people's favorite movie. Um, I have a vague idea of what happens in it. I've seen a couple clips and scenes, but I've never actually sat down and watched Tusk. This seems like it's a horrible idea to be doing at midnight. And you know, after watching something like this, I'm sure I'm gonna need some cool down entertainment. Something that doesn't involve tusks ripping out of someone's mouth. And what better way to do that than with a fine audiobook courtesy of today's sponsor, Audible. You know the drill by now. If you're a fan of audiobooks and spoken word entertainment, Audible is the best choice for you. I'm personally all about the audiobooks. I just started listening to Shiver by Allie Reynolds. The setting and tone reminded me of one of my favorite video games, Until Dawn, and it's just been almost impossible to stop listening to it nonstop. But if thrillers aren't your jam, that's no problem. Audible has thousands of titles across new releases and classics, memoirs, and even podcasts. So you can always find your perfect piece of entertainment. So if you're someone looking for new ways to be inspired, meet goals, make it through more novels, or just want to be entertained on long commutes or while relaxing, Audible is a fantastic choice for you. With Audible, you get one credit every month to use on any title you want, including new releases that you get to keep for life. The membership also includes access to the Audible Plus catalog, which provides members with unlimited access to select audiobooks, podcasts, guided wellness programs, Audible originals, sleep tracks, and more at no additional cost. So if you want to try out Audible for yourself, head on over to audible.com slash Jedi or text Jedi to 500, 500 to get 30 days completely free. I don't know if we're going to get through all of this tonight because I have to pack, but I figured we'd get a head start on uh, this real fun experience and uh, we'll see what I, what I splice in here. Splice would have been a good one to do this with. Okay, let's watch Tusk. <laughs> Based on actual what? Okay, so obviously I stopped and looked into this. Obviously not based on real events, but uh, it is really based on an episode of Kevin Smith and Scott Mosher's podcast where they read an ad where someone was looking for someone to wear a walrus suit for two hours a day in exchange for a room. Not that bad of a deal, honestly, in today's economy. So that's why the movie starts with Justin Long and Haley Joel Osment, of all people, I did not realize he was in this, as a podcast host to mock viral videos. The Kill Bill Kid. <laughs> that was abrupt. I was not expecting that. Oh, good lord. <laughs> I'm not laughed out yet, but I've, I'm feeling bad. For feeling it. bad? The kid's got tons of hits. He's got more hits than I do. I'm kind of in a weird way jealous. Mm. I don't need both legs. And this is Wallace Brighton reminding you to join the Nazi party. <laughs> My god, the old internet days were so edgy. The shit you could get away with. Yeah, so basically, Justin Long here headed up to Canada to uh, sit down uh, with the, the Kill Bill kid who cut off his leg, but uh, I am anticipating that something terrible will thwart him on this journey. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so when you're visiting the great white north of Canada, you got your can of do's and you got your can of don'ts. All right, I know that Kevin Smith loves Canada, so I'm gonna let this slide, but I don't appreciate this. I don't appreciate it at all, Kevin. Don't go telling a Canadian you don't follow hockey. <laughs> Makes him sad, right? Canadian doesn't get sad. <laughs> Sadness was made by the USA. Oh, come on, what does that mean? Take off, it's true. <laughs> right there on our flag. You may be red, white, and blue, but in Canada, you're red, white, but never blue, eh? So he finally escapes Harley from epic meal time and makes it to the Kill Bill Kid. The fuck is this? Holy shit, did he die? Oh my god, he died. Okay, I knew this was a horror comedy, but like, 
I'm down with the comedy aspect of this. Like, I don't know where it's going from. Well, I do know where it's going from here, but like. So yeah, um, Kill Bill Kid killed himself with his own sword. So that is how Justin Long clearly finds uh, the new weirdo that's going to turn him into a walrus. A spoiler alert, pretty, pretty sure that's what's gonna happen. Guess we'll find out. Oh no, homie, no. I'm an old man who has enjoyed a long and storied life at sea. I'm proud Canadian who is, I know I do not wish to spend my remaining years alone not when I have such stories to share. So we all know we need to ignore the creepy handwritten bathroom solicitations, right? Tonight would be, that'd be amazing, sir. Yes, thank you. Guess not. Never call the random bathroom sign. Ah. Also, that's Kevin Smith's daughter. How far is Bifrost from here? Shit, that's far. Yeah, it's about two hours from here. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, no, Kevin, 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 don't throw a boot at us. I'll throw a boot. At you. I feel disrespected. I know this man loves Canada, but I'm not feeling the love right now, Kevin. Kevin. The kids here at the convenience store are telling me that it's a boot two hours away. I hate American guys. Same. Pippi Hill. Pippi? So obviously dumbass calls the weirdo with the personalized letter uh, from the bar bathroom and drives the two hours to Pippi Hill. I no longer feel bad for anything that happens to Justin Long in this movie. Hello? Hello, up here, please. Good evening. Oh, he's so dapper. Could I interest you in some tea? You can, but first, uh, can I use your bathroom? And yeah, what weirdo things are in the bathroom? Great, love it, amazing, cool. feeling real good. Oh, she looking at that dick. Well, everything come out all right? Oh my God, what's in the tea? This, thank you. You bet. Oh yeah, there's something in the tea. I'm a storyteller by trade. You're a writer? Well, I'm a podcaster. I think this movie came out in 2014. Um, and I feel like most people in this age demographic would still have no idea what a podcast is, even though it's like one of the biggest forms of entertainment there is right now. I know my grandmother wouldn't know what a podcast is. My grandmother thinks I sell things on the internet, not myself, items. That is what she took from when my mom was trying to explain how I get paid sometimes. I don't know, that's just an anecdote. Let's get back to the movie. It's like a radio show that's not on the radio. It's on, it's on the internet. This is actually a very <laughs> fancy podcast setup though. I guess it's their, probably their full-time job, yes. So he's drinking this otherworldly tea that's apparently steeped in booze when old dude drops a Hemingway quote and this little anecdote. Hemingway said that. He said it to me. Oh my God, this man knows Ernest Hemingway. You knew Ernest Hemingway? Well, we met on the waters of Normandy. Hemingway went to the galley in search of alcohol. Holy shit, no kidding. Yes. So knowing where this movie is going, oh, I was gonna say it's like a film festival, but this did actually premiere at the Toronto International Film Festival, I am pretty sure. They do have a midnight category. All of these film festivals have like horror categories where you can get some like really weird stuff like this. But I'm like, wow, the direction, it's like the tone is just so opposite where I feel like it's going. Kevin Smith, I'm, I'm tantalized or titillized. Let's keep going. Apparently this dude knew Ernest anyway. Ernest Ernest. What's this? That's the back end of a walrus. So it's like a, like a walrus spine? No, it's more like a walrus cock. That's a walrus dick? <laughs> no, no. It is an aid of sexual intercourse. I take back everything I just said. The tone is just taking a harsh shift into walrus dick territory. So we're, I guess we are on track. We're on track on this film. Well, I became acquainted with a walrus when I was lost at sea. Did this man fuck a walrus? We'll find out. So I called my companion, Mr. Tusk. But my walrus companion was beautiful. Yeah, this man is definitely fucking a walrus, I think. And now he's trying to find a new walrus companion, I think. I think. So yeah, dude tells this story about how he got shipwrecked, looking for some like massive great white shark and then washed up on a beach and a massive walrus was there and uh, pulled him into its blubberous self to warm him. And now he's in love, I think. And of course, while he's telling this crazy story about building up to what I have to assume is fucking a walrus, yeah, Justin Long's character, who has a shockingly large knowledge of quotes. Hemingway said that. Starts passing out. 
So the tea, the tea is certainly drugged. Cer certainly drugged the tea is. I knew the only bliss this wretched life has ever afforded me. There, there. It'll be all right. What was the only bliss, man? What was the only bliss? It's the only bliss fucking walrus. So after he passes out, it cuts back to Canada where his uh, girlfriend is trying to convince him not to go to Canada because making fun of this kid is mean. And you get like this whole like how much he's changed since becoming this like hot podcast star and all that shit. Uh, and then I realized, and though I'm sure I caught it before, I totally missed it. His name is Wallace. Walrus. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. I see. I see. Old Wallace was a fucking loser who never popped a piss in or a window to throw it out. Old Wallace had me. I miss the guy who told me he loved me the first time we had sex. The guy who gets baked and cries watching Winnie the Pooh. You're so sweet. Such a softie. Ah, uh, so now it's gonna like shift from him like imagining this last conversation and then he's... Weird shit's gonna be happening to him. Weird shit's gonna be happening to him in Canada. Oh my God, is the dude... Is the dude filleting him? Oh no, he's just passed out. Okay. Did I just say is the dude filleting him? <laughs> Nightmare. Oh, he gave him a little cardigan, though. What's your whistle, my dry little thistle? What happened? Yeah. Looked down when I saw this rather intimidating little spider crawl from out of your pant leg. He's saying he got bit by a spider? Your ankle was the size of an elephant's leg. With the venom traveling to your heart, it forced the doctor to save your life. Okay, so before this reveal, so he basically said that he got bit by a spider, um, which is why he passed out, and then the doctor had to take drastic measures to save him because his legs were swelling up like elephants. He doesn't have legs anymore, does he? Okay, we're hitting enter. Oh, oh my, my God. God, his leg is gone. Uh, there's no leg there. Nature can be very red in tooth and claw. The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> spider, the spider bit you. Where's the doctor? I want to talk to him. Doctor's making his rounds. Rounds, what rounds? We're in the middle of nowhere. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> No, we're not. Dude, this guy thinks it's fucking hilarious that he cut off this dude's leg. Because I know it wasn't because of a brown recluse spider. He's doing some insanity. So he's just having a great time. He's like, well, you get control of your faculties. <laughs> Dr. Moose removed all the phones from the house. He didn't want you disturbed. It's insane. Possibly so, but it's true. This dude. Truly sorry for your loss. He's like, it's so hard not to laugh. There was no spider, was there? Yes, there was. A brown recluse. A hobo spider. Did he say homo spider or hobo spider? We'll fact check that later. The itty bitty spider crawled up the water spout. Let me out of this chair! Oh, fucking nutbag! Oh my god, he could stand up. Somebody out! And <laughs> we just bitch slapped the fuck out of him. I've been constructing. A very realistic walrus suit. What? And I believe with just a few minor modifications, it will fit you perfectly. Okay, so a little bit different than what I thought. Okay. For one, Justin Long selling the shit out of this performance. Fantastic. Good job, buddy. Um, two, he's constructed a walrus suit that he's going to make Wallace fit in. And he said, a few modifications. Uh, so you might think a few modifications to the walrus suit. But what I'm assuming is that it's a few modifications to the Wallace body. And then I really think he's going to try to fuck him. Why are you doing this? To answer the question, is man indeed a walrus at heart? Truly really horrifying. I hate him, but I hate myself so much more for letting any man do this to me. Oh my God, is that Haley Joel Osment's hand? Yo, earlier he was talking about like Teddy, the partner being weird. If she's around, is it because they're like, do they currently think that he is like in Canada cheating on her and now he's gonna like swoop in? This is a lot. This is a, this is a lot and barely anything's happened yet. Give me my humanity. Even though we're stripping it down every time we're doing this. Yeah, she cheated. 
You're taking my girlfriend to the Getty. Allie and Teddy go to the Getty. Aww. It's adorable. It's like a children's book. Dude, she just wants to go with you. I can't have her around if I'm gonna get real with this kid. And I also can't get Roadhead if she's there either. You you bring shame to the party. party. <laughs> Oh God. Can I even put any clips of them saying that out loud in this without YouTube thinking, I don't know anymore. Yeah, so it turns out he has been cheating on his girlfriend. He knows that his friend's taking his girlfriend out on a date, but I don't know if he knows the extent of it. Love that, hiding in plain sight. Oh my God, his cell phone, his cell phone. I'm surprised he left the phone in the room. Oh God, she's gonna let it charge and walk away. And then she's not gonna hear it go off again. I was abducted. I'm in Manitoba. You gotta please come. Please, 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 please. Call the cops, dude. Call 911, dude. I don't wanna die in Canada. I don't wanna die in Canada. Go brush your teeth and come back to bed, please. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. She's gonna go in the bathroom. He's gonna see that there's a message from Wallace and he's just gonna delete it. He's not gonna listen to it. He's gonna delete it because he wants the girl. Oh no, dude, you should just call 911. You call 911 first, then you deal with the girl. I get it though, you're being, you just lost a leg. Some dude wants to turn you into a walrus. You're a little irrational right now. I get it, I get it. Jesus fucking Christ, am I right? Am I right? Oh yeah, he sees the phone call. He sees the phone call and he's not gonna tell it. Oh wait, that was his phone. That was his phone. Where the fuck did the walrus stick go? What am I doing with my life? Two hours north of Winnipeg. I'm somewhere in... Call the cops. You call the cops. Your life as you knew it is over, Mr. Brighton. You will be a walrus, or you will be nothing at all. <laughs> Honestly, if those are my options, fucking end me. All right, so I couldn't handle watching any more of that movie in Canada, so I had to come to Utah. I'm in a dungeon. There's torches on the wall. This is a creepy tapestry. They're everywhere. <laughs> See lover, oh no. Okay, so she's finally gonna see the messages. She's finally gonna try calling him back. It's gonna be too late. Homie, why didn't you call 911? It is still 911 in Canada. Oh God, what's he doing to him now? Well, someone's looking for walls. So as he's performing surgery, he starts talking about how he was sent to a boy's home in Quebec where he was abused. So what I'm saying is everything that happens in this movie is Quebec's fault. Why does he have his leg on ice? Man is a savage animal, Mr. Brighton. Oh God, oh my God, oh my God. No, how does that put him in this? What? I thought you were gonna put him into the suit. Are you turning him in? You're just sewing him into a walrus. I don't, mm. We know he rented a car, but we don't know exactly where from. There are some recent pictures up on the website. It's zparty.com. Spell it, spell it. Hello? Oh my God, no, they hung up because they said it was, oh no. Well, Lisa trying to help. I really thought like his friend might've been like, fuck it, but I guess he's not, he's not that bad of a friend. Either. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, he's got him sewed. Oh, we've made a lot of progress. We have made a lot of progress since last time. <laughs> Walrus has never cried! <laughs> 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 Why did that escalate so quickly? Like one second, he's just got his arms sewn together and now he's literally just been sewn and mutilated into being a I now need a shirt that says walruses don't cry or walruses never cry. I think they do, man. They have feelings. Walri have emotions. So uh, yeah, I don't know how long it's gonna take uh, his girlfriend and best friend to find him considering um, the name of their podcast. That was ill-advised for a couple different reasons now, wasn't it? Oh, I missed you, Mr. Tusk. This is why we don't go to Manitoba. Why does this man have Wolverine mutton chops? Why did they do that? Are you sure he's not pulling your legs? Could there be some sort of sexual angle? A romantic entanglement? See, I personally think that there is a romantic entanglement and that that old man wants to fuck a walrus. Is Kevin Smith like the only person who's gotten like worse at making movies since starting to smoke weed? Big fan of Clerks. Really big fan. Real excited for the new one. 
love listening to him talk. I'm just asking a question. At least they've made it to Canada to try to help him out here. Okay, I joke about the post Clerks 2 state of Kevin Smith, but I'm glad he makes these weirdo projects. I had a fella come in here from Quebec asking about any legless bodies that might have turned up. Legless bodies? Some kind of serial killer. I told him Canada doesn't have any serial killers. <laughs> Ahoy, matey! Oh my god, he's gonna make him swim? He's making him swim? Oh my fucking god. So he's gonna drown him. Honestly, drowning would be like a blessing at this point. Yeah, you fucking psycho, he's gonna drown. Yeah, there's the other one that already drowned. Oh my god, that looks sick though. That is a great set piece. Oh yeah, Johnny Depp is in this. He's like a detective or a private investigator. So Johnny Depp here, Guy Lapointe has said he sacrificed all of his happiness and multiple marriages trying to catch this elusive serial killer. How many people has he killed? 23. Okay, so up to this point, they have now found this detective from Quebec who uh, has been hunting down a serial killer specifically looking for one-legged victims, Howard Howe specifically. So we've already seen one of the other victims, but apparently uh, this is elusive enough and uh, far spread enough that there are whisperings amongst the other Canadian people. Made it all the way from Quebec to Manitoba. It's the great white north, my friends. Winnie the Pooh's from Manitoba. Fun fact. But anyways, this guy is tracking down uh, this serial killer. And there's always the same MO, and it's literally like that prep process where you've got like the fuse from like the arm to the body. Like a kind of a crucified T-Rex. And, and the leg amputated. So I feel like these are like the failed experiments because we're the ones that die but don't die from drowning pro like pr purposes, and then he just dumps the bodies. It is one fuck of a bummer to look at, I can tell you. <laughs> it is one fuck of a bummer to look at, if I'm being completely honest. Are any of them sexually? Oh, no, no, he doesn't touch them like that. Wait, you're telling me there is no sexual aspect to this? The homie says there's... He's not? I'm not saying I wanted that to be what was going to happen, but that's just what I assumed was going to happen. He don't do nothing sexy with them, you know. <laughs> the boys on the force uh, nicknamed this, uh, this killer uh, the, the, the first wife. The first wife doesn't let you talk, doesn't let you go anywhere, and uh, she does not fuck you. Maybe we should be talking to someone else. Uh, or maybe you could just uh, uh, firm your f fucking bush and uh, listen to Guy Point. I met this son of a bitch. Did you come here by this spider? I'm not that man who was sent by the lady who said she was sending someone. You're not gonna shoot the spider? I come today because I'm investigating. Well, a disappearance. So, um, this camera is fucked up. So, um, you're dealing with some webcam footage for a little bit, but we got Guy Lapointe here with the killer himself pretending to be a not necessarily mentally well redneck to foil the operation. Oh, do you coach you coach the hockey bites? I come in, I pick up the stick. We go out for poutine. Have you ever been to poutine weenie on Lou de Jour? You sure you don't have time to come in and kill a spider? Really not paid enough to uh, deal with the savage animals, you know. <laughs> I think that the real savage animals are the human beings. Dude, you let yourself slip. Couldn't help himself. They can never help themselves. They can play their part perfectly and then they gotta say some weird shit. The hockey player Gregory he was probably in that house, you know. The hole in the roof of the mouth. The medical examiner, he found something inside the hole of his mouth. It was a tiny piece of the victim's own tibia bone. Is he using his uh, the own pieces of their own legs to make those tusks? Yeah, I guess. That would be thick enough. Oh my god. That's crazy. That's smart. I'm, I'm giving this man props. I'm so very tired, Mr. Clark. It's like I just can't listen to half the shit he's saying because I'm too busy looking at what they've done to Justin Long. At this point, it would just have to have been easier to just actually go find a real walrus. I get that I'm looking for logic with a very disturbed individual, but I'm just saying? You must be terribly hungry right now. Oh god, he's gonna feed him live fish. Yep. The fucking drool. I would have drowned myself by now. You can't come back from this. Even if someone finds you, what are they gonna do? How are they gonna bring you back from this? I apparently lack that survival instinct that people are supposed to have. Feed. Oh well, lots of crossover here with Human Centipede with the, the feed line.
and meat. Where do we go first? No, where, where is for the wool of who? <laughs> where is for the wolf? Does he drink the coffees? Me, for example, cannot uh, start the car without a double-double with eight sugars and a dash of cream. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, a double-double, you can't have a double-double with eight sugars because a double-double is a coffee with two creams and two sugars. If you're gonna talk about Tim Hortons, you have to get it right. You have to be fucking sensible, Kevin. Sensible. Context on what is going on right now. So obviously uh, this dude is not mentally well. He has been mistreated by people his entire life. And the only thing, if the story is true, that showed him any kindness was a walrus. So now he's going to turn the horrible people into walrus. I'm gonna keep calling them walry. I know that's not correct, but I want to do that. He's turning people into walry. Yes. So now the detective and uh, the friends are, you know, trying to track his whereabouts and the things he likes to do on road trips, uh, which led them back to Kevin Smith's daughter at the convenience store. He likes um, big, goofy convenience store drinks. Oh my God, it's Mr. Mustache. Clean! <laughs> no way, it's Mr. Mustache. How's everything over at Degrassi, huh? You could still get knocked up and shot at? Okay, you've mentioned, you've mentioned Degrassi. You're back in my good graces slightly. Kevin, I know you love Degrassi. You were on Degrassi. Jay and Silent Bob go Canadian, eh? Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm just gonna go ahead and write on you. Jesus <laughs> okay. Christ. At least they're also showing that the Americans are disrespectful. So we're going all over the place with stereotypes. <laughs> Mr. Mustache. Wow. I did in the Big Lebowski. You know that that's exactly where I learned it from. Isn't that weird? <laughs> oh. oh God, oh God, it is sexual. I fucking told you, it's sexual. They're dancing, they're dancing. He's slow dancing with the wall. Oh no, he's just. <laughs> I don't know if I close my eyes. I still think it's sexual. He had to eat him. He had to, he ate Mr. Tusk, are you kidding me? You were not prepared for me last time, Mr. Tusk. You were not ready for the fight. This time it will be different, because I have hardened you. Okay, so it's not sex. He had to kill the walrus for food. And he felt like the walrus was not prepared for the fight. So now he's making a new walrus to be Mr. Tusk to redo the fight? Would it make more sense if it was sex? I don't want him to want to do that to a walrus. I just really thought that was the direction we were going to go here with Kevin Smith. There's just so much reverence and love for this man who wants to be murdered. <laughs> I don't know what's happening anymore. I'm so tired. <laughs> All right, so they just found his car that has been dumped in a bog. Is there some irony with the Canadian loading up Americans with guns and the Americans not wanting the guns? What kind of American are you? The kind that's never used a gun before. Take you the fucking gun. <laughs> you will fight me, Mr. <laughs> Walrus, or you will die! Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, he's fighting him in another walrus suit? If he can put himself in a walrus suit without mutilating himself, why can't he put other people in walrus suits without mutilating? Why am I looking for logic in this? Somebody take the weed away from Kevin. Okay, so they can hear the screaming. I don't know why I thought this was like way gorier than it ended up being. Like, I don't know why I thought you really got like the down and dirty with him doing the walrus shit. <laughs> oh my God. Is that me with the flesh of other murder people? <laughs> Like in this scenario, I would fight for dear life. I'm not gonna let somebody fucking disrespect me like this. Oh my God, they found his foot. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I'm not gonna let somebody disrespect me like this. I would fight to kill him and then just drown myself. You want to? <laughs> okay, there's some, there's some really fun shots here. Ew. That's cheating. So help me. That's cheating. That is cheating. Ah! Oh yeah, get him, fuck him up, fuck him up, fuck him up. Ah! I'm sorry, man, if you start making the terms of walrus fight, you cannot bust out of the walrus suit. Those are the fucking rules that I have established. <laughs> so satisfying. Ah! <laughs> Imagine walking in on that. No! Oh wow, she's really good. She's selling this. Oh, yes! 
Ma'am, I think you mean walrus. And now I think he's gonna put him out of his misery. Yeah, at this point, man. Like, maybe you got it for I to bring him to the hospital. I don't know. You could put some of that back. One year later, ooh, we love a time gap. We love a time jump in something like this because it's so fucking weird. Manitoba Exotic Animal Sanctuary. Oh my God, is he an exotic animal now? Yo, that's fucked. That's so fucked. Wallace? Oh no, he's still alive. Ooh. Oh my God. No, that's so fucked. There's no fucking way. It's a mackerel. <laughs> You don't have to hide from us, Wallace. <laughs> Wallace! So I don't cry. I mean, big deal. I'm also a lot older, remember? So it cuts back to her and Wallace talking in bed again, and she mentions how her grandfather always used to say that it was good to cry because it separates us from the animals. So you have a soul. Animals do cry, I just want to say, but I'm sure they're going to tie that into to him crying, I'm sure. Or maybe he doesn't cry, so he's just an animal now. Oh no, there's tears. Dude, I just gotta believe they would have tried to reconstruct him a little bit. I love you, Wallace. Don't ever forget that. <laughs> oh, this is so fucked. <laughs> oh, I... It's playing the actual podcast thing. That's a nice little touch. And then these are probably the people that donated to have this actually turned into a movie. The walrus... Walrus, yes. So, okay, yeah, these people funded the movie. Good for them. This exists because of you. That's kind of a beautiful thing, isn't it? Oh my god. That was really artistic in some ways I wasn't anticipating. It definitely vibes like a film festival movie until it uh, goes off the... Even then, though, I've seen some pretty wild film festival movies, especially in the midnight category. Some weird shit happens in the midnight category. And this had to have been Midnight Madness. Yeah. Screen is Midnight Madness, and it was first runner-up People's Choice Award. Good for Kevin. Look at you, you, your, your art, your art. All right, so that was Tusk. I don't know why they didn't shoot him at the end or try some kind of reconstructive surgeries mentally. I don't think there's anything he could do about that long term. But for the most part, he would still be himself. It's only been a few days, maybe a week. Uh, it is totally inconsistent. I can definitely get that vibe, but I, I kind of like to an extent, movies that are really wild, but then go in a way that also tries to be artsy with it. Uh, maybe there were times where this got a little bit too artsy, but that was also impressive to me because I wouldn't have expected these like introspective conversations with his girlfriend about like how much he's changed since doing this podcast. Uh, and then it also just being about a, a guy being turned into a walrus. Cause that's really what we're at here. <laughs> And in terms of Johnny Depp, yeah, I guess it was really just as simple as like both of their daughters going to like the same school in LA. So he'd known him for years. So we just shot him a text being like, hey, hate to do this. Want to be in my weirdo movie? Also, I'm pretty sure the other clerk that was with Kevin Smith's daughter is Johnny Depp's daughter, Lily Rose Depp. So let's, well, a lot of family involvement involved wholesome movie Tusk is. That's its legacy. Family. This is something I would have had a blast watching at TIFF during Midnight Madness. I'm sure it was crowded with all these Kevin Smith fans and just Midnight Madness fans. It would have been an absolute blast. And I'm kind of like really upset that I can't go back in time and, and enjoy that because like this movie felt like it was made for that kind of experience. It's weird as hell, but like, I didn't hate it. I think it was kind of fun. It's the best thing I've had to watch for one of these videos. But yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Thanks again to Audible for sponsoring Sponsoring. Thanks as always to my Patreon supporters. I think I'm gonna have a little something extra. I had filmed an intro for my massive scream video that if you haven't watched yet, I'd really appreciate it if you went and watched that. Um, and I didn't end up on the video just because I was I had some rendering issues. So I'm gonna just upload that as some like additional Patreon content. I wanna try and do more of that. So check that out if you want to. But obviously, thanks to anyone who's here at all. So subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a like on the video if you're into that kind of thing. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I'm mostly okay. And we'll catch you all later.